Hey, 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 GS Tells back with you today again, and this time I'm gonna be walking on my own car. This thing, and what I'm doing in here is, as you can see, I've already stripped some stuff, which was looking nice, I have to say that, but. I've got to sacrifice all this for the recent box that I built for the fourth order. So as you can see I've got a loudest amplifier in there. <coughs> and the main thing is this. This is my fourth order box that I recently built. My first ever fourth order box to be honest. So and what's the thing with the fourth order? You can see the port there. Yeah, no cables coming through the port for now. That was just for testing. So what's the thing? What's the key with the fourth order? Yes, it plays absolutely great for certain range of the sound of the frequency. And another thing what you need to do is you need to seal it off if you have a car like this E46 BMW you need to seal the thing from the boot so the base only enters the cabin and it doesn't come out of the cabin in order for me to do that I'm gonna have to cut this thing out marry the sub close as close as possible make some sort of sidewalls because this is on an angle it's not straight make some sort of <coughs> slot so it slots in and hopefully it will work out so uh, we'll be stripping all the stuff out and rebuilding the sound system originally I bought this car for it to be well just a daily driver it's an automatic as well, I thought, yeah, this will be candy for plodding it along. But once you're a base head, you're a base head forever. <laughs> and something had to be done about the sound system. I'm never happy with my base whenever I have. So here we are. I built a fourth order box. Wanting something different from the normal boxes. Like what I have in that. That's my base box, the silver one. Probably seen from the other videos. But here we go, I've just started another project and let's get it cracking. <clears throat> so we'll get a box out, do some, remove some things, see if it will slide in as close as possible to the wall and then we'll go from there really. So there you go. Great, so the box is out, here it is, big and heavy, and first thing what I need to do is, I need to get rid of this amp, and the bloody dock here as well. And disconnect all the speaker cables. Take that out. Right. Tape up the why yes and I don't shorten out since I've got them both red I'm gonna tape one ground black and power yellow
balance it out. So basically, this is the amp, hairy one. That's the joy of having dogs. So for the starters, I need to cut off this and this there and probably remove this as well yeah we'll cut all that stuff off and see if I can slide that box in so it goes under there so basically from there to there I'm really hoping that it's gonna clear I did make it by the measurements of my old box that was fitting in there but I believe this time it's that little bit higher so I'm gonna have to go to the wall which I will see in a bit well, here is the grinder, there is the thing let's cut the fucker off Simple and easy, unnecessarily stuff goes by by. We'll just spray it up and then if it doesn't rust, then what it is. Now, let's get the bitch in and see what she says. Well, unfortunately, it's bad news. It didn't clear. Literally by about a centimeter. So it would have gone in. Focus, you piece of shit. But basically, yeah, it didn't clear. So I'll have to use these little legs there. At some point, I'm gonna find that out what I'm gonna be doing. And this is how it looks in here much to see really so basically we'll have to cut it I believe this will be the bottom point because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stack some MDF raise the bottom up so it sits flush I'm just gonna make it sit in a flush I'm not gonna screw it down and off and I don't know, maybe it's well, maybe it's not, but we'll see. And then basically screw all that stuff to the wall here. And we'll see. So yeah, I need to come up with a plan. I believe the cutting is next now. Right, let's get some measurements done and cut the sucker off. So, from the bottom, I have six and a half, seven, and here I've got eight, 
to be honest I don't think I'm gonna cut the bottom off for now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut it in a level like that and then I can put an inch board or whatever underneath on an angle or something like that but that's what I would do to be honest for the beginning something along these lines so that's let's see six from there let's measure it exact so we've gone a bit up so six is there Pretty much. Roughly. From the top, I'm going to be cutting from the inside because there is the weld point and I don't want to mess up this tack welding, I'm just going to cut it along the line on the top there, right, let's find the side point, so box ends 33 90 degree angle Just make sure it's even on both sides. And this is 33 and a half. 33 and a half. Basically half half a mil off. Probably because of the position how the box sits. So uh, we'll cut down to. 30 for the time being because you always can trim it back 30 30 30 looks about right so this all needs to be cut out like that then we'll be cutting out more Right, so let's get cutting. What I am gonna do is I'm gonna cover up probably that 
to be honest. Yeah, I'm gonna cover. I'm gonna cover some stuff up. I'm not really asked about the interior because it's not stained like this, anyways. And this is just the work interior, so I can sit on something that's nice, not not bashing my legs in the metal. Um, yeah. Let's get cracking. Let's remove the box. Cut the sides so I know where I'm stopping up there. And I'm gonna go from the other side, cut it across there nicely. And then I'm gonna come back and do all the full opening, really. So yeah, let's get to do it. Right, that's the best protection what I'm gonna have. Well, right, basically, what I'm putting in just so I don't get any stuff in my in my window, really. But not really bother. So I can tint them basically, but. Well, wish me good luck and um, let's get to cutting. Right, these two are done and now I'm gonna go from the inside of the boot cut the cross there and then do the final cut on the bottom and you've just reduced about a kilo of weight after putting about 50 kilos of fucking box burning oh the shit so I couldn't get a nice straight line from there so I'm gonna do it from here get these stupid pins out I don't know what they're for here like 
probably go for the middle headrest because this car doesn't have one. And it doesn't need one. Well, that. One thing is shame that this plate is not one solid piece because I would have just bent it down and it would have saved me putting something on the bottom but never mind. I'm gonna call me side Ta da! You're getting yourself a nice open boot. This is for the scrap man. So, yeah, need to trim this stuff off. This is gonna have to be sound deadened and stuff. We'll see where we need to put that stuff on. But I'm gonna cut this stuff, I'm gonna cut this part off. Cut it off. Something like that. This is extremely sharp. I need to file that off. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chuck the box and see what it looks like.